Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at our peat bogs, uh, the impact they have on their environment and how they can be used as a fuel. On the damp, boggy shores next to a river, you are going to find lots and lots of moss growing. And when this moss dies, it can lead to the formation of peat bogs. After the peat dies, it needs to be acidic and it needs to be waterlogged. Now the moss is going to have undergone photosynthesis. which means it is an important store of locked up carbon dioxide. After it dies, if the conditions are correct, if it is acidic and it is waterlogged, the combination of the acidity and the waterlogging is going to prevent decomposition. And this is going to lead to the formation of a peat bog. Peat bogs cover roughly 3% of the Earth's surface. And are an important carbon store. All of that carbon dioxide that was absorbed during photosynthesis stays in there and isn't released into the atmosphere where it could contribute to climate change. These peat bogs can be used as a fuel. They can be cut, dried, and then burnt. You can see here the very distinctive cut lines and the rectangular shape of the peat logs which are left to dry in the air. When mixed with soil, peat also has other very, very important properties. It improves structure. Mineral retention. Water retention. And changes the acidity meaning that peat has very, very valuable properties which can be used as a fuel or as a soil improver. However, there are a number of problems with using peat in these ways. First of all, any bogs that have to be, or that are going to be cut up, need to be drained. which leads to the destruction of habitats. Burning peat releases carbon dioxide. When it's mixed in soil, It starts to decay. Again, releasing carbon dioxide. Both of the burning peat and mixing with soil contribute significantly to climate change, and the draining of the bogs destroys the habitats. Which means in recent years, a lot of the um, bags of compost you buy in garden centres is peat-free compost. And you'll need a special licence to cut peat in this manner here, so that you can use it for fuel. You can't just go and do it anywhere, you have to have a special licence for it.